Okay, let me put something to you. You might think I'm stupid. You might think I'm being irresponsible. But EA have got a track record of doing this. What do you think or what would you think if I said to you that EA are purposely trying to close the Battlefield franchise? Because for me, they wouldn't have put a game out like 2042 if they still loved the franchise and they still thought that it had some legs. Battlefield 5 was a mess and we know how quick they abandoned that. Um, But apparently they got it right um, in the end and there's a lot more people playing that game. But I've got this sneaky feeling that battlefield is going to sort of disappear in the next few years and i think it's ea and one of the reasons i think that dice one of the branches of dice has changed the name to ripple effect i think they're going to be kept and i think the rest of dice is going the problem is for me some of the developers have actually disappeared some of the good good developers and they've gone over with patrick sodal to is it ember um, and they are working on new projects as we speak EA, DICE, Ripple Effect are not giving us the things that we expect from a Battlefield game. A scoreboard. That's all they need to mention. A scoreboard. They couldn't even give us that. There has been an outcry because of this game in the community. Are they listening to the community? No. Things are going from bad to worse. If you use Logitech software on your machine. If you use MSI software on your machine. You play Battlefield 2042 and it's in a raffle, a gamble, that you might be flagged false positive and banned because you are using that software. What did EA do? What did DICE do? They closed down a thread with 160 something pages of people asking why they got banned. And Tom Henderson uh, researched this and he, you know, it equated to the fact that people were using aforementioned pieces of software. Do EA care? Do DICE care? It doesn't seem so, does it? This franchise is going from bad to worse. And it's saddening to see from a Battlefield um, veteran like myself. I've played Battlefield for many, many years now. And I have seen nothing like this. I thought Battlefield 5 was bad. But Battlefield 2042 is beyond bad. Look, I understand that sometimes they've got to make choices and they've got to make changes. Or they want to make changes that may, they think, enhance a game. 128 players i was looking forward to that a lot of other people that i know were looking forward to that bigger maps we thought it was going to be epic more destruction we thought that was going to be epic it didn't work 64 players they brought out again to let us you know tease us with um, game modes with smaller more condensed maps and 64 players we loved it we wanted that we asked you to leave that in you took it away You promised us a lot more destruction. It seems to have gone back a couple of iterations. EA, are you trying to stop? Are you trying to close Battlefield? Are you working on something else? Is there another IP that you want your development teams to be working on? Because it looks like that to me. You know, as a part of the community, and yes, sometimes I, maybe it's a thought to be a little bit unfair because I call you out about this shit. But you know, calling us brutal, calling us salty, it's not going to work. All we're asking for is questions, uh, uh, answers to questions, and people are getting banned, people are getting blocked, silent, uh, silented by um, the community. You know, the, the community managers are getting called out, they do nothing. Tom Henderson is more of a community manager and a marketing uh, guy than, you know, anyone that's actually working for the studios. And I'm not Tom's biggest fan. I thought I thought a lot of the things that he said um, were, were rubbish, but you know, the majority of things turned out correct from what Tom was saying. But he seems to be doing a better job than Dice and EA them, them, themselves. It's actually saddening to watch this franchise going the way it's going. Look, I'm a little bit optimistic that it could get better. 
they did it with Battlefield 4. Could it happen with Battlefield 2042? I hope so, because in March, and why it's took till, till March, I have no idea that we get the first drop for the game. If it's not right, if it's not perfect, if it's not back to the Battlefield that I remember, that's me gone. A lot of people might say, Devlin, well, go then. It doesn't matter. But I'm not the only person who feels like this. Look at some of the content creators stepping back from making content about Battlefield 2042 because it is that bad. EA, if you are interested in this franchise, in this IP, you need to listen to the community. Give us the things that we want. 64 player modes. A fucking scoreboard, for God's sake. Give us these legacy things that you think we don't need, but we're trying to tell you we do need. Give them back to us. Listen to the community, because if you don't, it'll be at your peril, unless you are trying to close the Battlefield franchise and try and give us something else. Listen to the community. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, press that bell icon and tick it so you get notifications of when we're uploading new videos. And this is Mr. Devlin. Hope that EA are going to do the right thing. And out.